Yeah, what's your about the case? We're back with another reaction video. Okay, today we got my teacher did things to me in our classroom. Part yeah, do we gotta find part one? Do we gotta find part one? Nah, we're gonna start from part two, nigga. Fuck it. If you guys want me to write to part one, we're gonna find part one after this shit. Fuck it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? As I'm waiting for her to let me go, the last thing she said to me was the most important. What was word it? for word, bar for bar. She said, and I quote, Make Yes, sir. School, there was a total of five teachers that the whole student body agreed upon were the cream of the crop. I think it said cream of the crop. One of them had a husband, except for one. See, unlike most of my other stories, this didn't take place in my junior year. No, no, no. It took place in my senior year. I wish I had him. I wish I had him. Why is this important? Never mind. US? Because when you finally evolve into your senior form, you get this new ability called student aid. For those of you that don't know what fuck a student aid is, you're basically the vice president of a classroom. The you help fuck? the teacher with her daily tasks, anything from grading papers to going to her car because she forgot her cup of coffee again. And the teacher I picked to be a student aide for was none other than, that's right, you guessed it, Miss Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, I am for real. Never meant to make you I apologize. I treat my mind. Okay, okay. That's Shit. My bad. The remix. But she was the one teacher without a husband, which basically means I get to be. The Shikamaru to her Naruto, the Zuko to her Aang, the Simba to her Mufasa. Everything the light touches in that classroom is mine, including her, and I am very territorial. Now, before we continue, this story isn't as ratchet as part one was. This one is more bittersweet because this is a teacher i've been cool with for four years okay she watched me grow up she was always kind to me and let me sleep in class even though that didn't help my grades she was a genuine person from head to toe so i, I bet she was i caught feelings not really catch feelings i just appreciate her a lot but mm -mm. why because who was her competition? High school pretty girls suck. They waste your time. They That's only true, date bro. You if you're popular and attractive, so they're shallow. Like, where's the depth? And the amount of cheating that happened at my high school was ridiculous. I have dirt on everybody. So when a Damn. 25 year old teacher treats only me like a prince, like royalty, Shit. of course. I'm a moderately catch feelings. Yeah, I don't blame you, bro. Class every day while getting fed great. Who does that? But there was this a nigga cap, man. with this. Number one, what? I was 17 and so? I turned 18 for a while. And last time I checked, <laughs> that's the case. I'm not trying to send my shorty to prison. Ain't the case Number here. Two, I know she saw me as a student. Like she wants a grown man, and I was this. What the heck is this? <laughs> and lastly, number three. Oh I shit, bro. Oh, wow, she had a boyfriend, didn't she? She did have a boyfriend. Fuck your boyfriend. We don't cheat over here, okay? But at the same time, I was 17. Like, come on. Now, I ain't even know the dude. For all I know, he doesn't even exist. And That's even true. if he did, I'm going to still shoot my shot. If you're playing soccer, right, and there's a goalie, you don't just leave the field. No, that's you true. Try and get your shot past the goalie, right? Yeah, oh, damn. makes sense. Tarnishing my reputation right now. But for real though, don't cheat. So the year goes by and she lets me do whatever I want in her class. Me and her are always hanging out together. 
We always I ain't about gonna lie. Because she actually doesn't like teaching all that much. We talked about she wants her you, bro. personal life together. Like every morning, we would greet each other, and when class would end, she would hug me by my side. I don't know about you, but that sounds like the talking stage to me. It and definitely does, hate, bro. But that all changed when I chose to graduate early. Most of y'all don't know this about me, but Damn. I graduated high school in the middle of the year to pursue the YouTube. Way. That's right. My YouTube. Hey, I mean, which shit. was great for me, obviously. But what I didn't realize is that it was going to put an end to my friendship with my sister. Fast forward. So you get her number and shit, bro. It's my last day of school. At the end of the day, I walk into her classroom knowing I was never going to see her yeah. And by now, we talked about this a couple of times, so she knew this day was coming, just like I did. And up until now, it's been nothing but fun moments between a teacher and her student. But this moment was one that can make even someone with the coldest of hearts cry. And yeah. Attention business owners, to help you through the current situation, we're offering you a free copy of Chris Cardell's Next. And I don't want to make this seem sappy or anything, but I'm just telling y'all how it went. She comes up to me and she hugs me. Uh... This is the first time she gave me a full hug. So I reach my arms around and I grab her and it felt amazing. And even though this was a sad moment, she didn't do that. Help, but notice how hard Shorty's chest was pressing into mine. And has she always hugged me this long? So we're standing there, and then she starts talking. She's like, "Stanley, I'm gonna miss you so much." Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. Much. Nigga, just get her number and link okay, her on the weekend type know, shit. Right? Stanley, make sure you take care of yourself in the real world. Okay. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Miss Jackson. Okay, she gotta be done now. If you ever need anything at all, just let me know. You can reach out to me. Okay. Why are you still holding on to me? I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure to give you a call if I ever need anything. All right, bro. At this point, if she doesn't let me go, I'm gonna just go ahead and lock the door, cause she's playing with my emotions. Yeah, nigga, you should have been locked the door. Go, the last thing she said to me was the most important what did she word say for word bar for bar she said and i quote make sure you come back and visit me okay but wait stanley what's wrong with that that's completely normal for teachers to say what's wrong with it is the way she said it it made me know that i was teacher's own although damn a hard pill to swallow this isn't a movie. This is real life. So, I accepted it. I mean, what did y'all think was going to happen? I was a child. So, so we said our goodbyes and I parted ways with Miss Jackson for the last time. Dang, I thought you niggas going to fuck or some shit. What the fuck? such a nice teacher in my life before going on to the real world because teachers sometimes don't realize how much of an impact they can have hey bro if you enjoyed the reaction make sure you like comment and subscribe